What's up, family? It's your boy Nate, aka Tabasco Sweet. What are you finding, bro? What's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So I guess, first of all, let me apologize for not putting out a video any time in the last couple weeks. I've actually been super busy, and that's exactly why I wanted to talk to you today. This video is gonna be very different. I'm gonna actually give you something that's gonna be a super helpful resource to you this year in the fight against crabgrass, poa anua, and other types of weeds that are invading your lawn. That's right, I'm giving away a free ebook that I wrote on pre-emergence, and all you have to do is click the link below or just Google search The Lawn Care Nut, go to my official website, thelawncarenut.com, and go and subscribe to my newsletter. When you subscribe to my newsletter, I'm gonna send you a PDF. It's an email that I actually sent to this very list, but it was really good and we got an excellent response from it. So we went ahead and turned it into a PDF and I decided, you know what I'm gonna do in exchange for you guys giving me your email and signing up for my list, because yeah, I'm trying to grow my reach that way. I'm gonna go ahead and send you this really helpful PDF. And again, it's really in depth. What products to use, when to put them down, where to buy them, everything. It's super in depth, I know it's gonna help you. And then, I've got even a bigger announcement on the back of that. So I'm thinking, what can I do this time of year to get you guys ahead? I mean, really, if you think about it, getting ahead of the game is really the best way to succeed during the year. Now really, if you were gonna get ahead, you would've started last fall. That's really the best time to start a lawn care program, but I know most of you don't do that. You're conditioned to start in the spring. And that's why I'm doing this educational series here on pre-emergence, starting here in February, just in time, for you to get educated, get your products, and get ready to go for when spring hits where you live. In fact, the PDF that I give you, it's got instructions for both cool and warm season grasses. It's got everything. Now, I want you to read the whole thing. Even if you don't have warm season grass, you should read theirs. And even if you don't have cool season grass on the flip side, you should read theirs because I keep a lot of repetition going in there because not only am I telling you what to put down, when to put it down, how much to put down, I'm also referencing videos that are on this channel that help to answer some of the most frequently asked questions. That's what's called repurposing content. I mean, you guys know, I try to run a kind of little marketing machine action going on here sometimes, and this is kind of the way that I'm gonna go this season, is I wanna really make it an educational type year. See, because now that the channel's been around for a few years, that's some of the, what I'm getting, you know, some of the, I wouldn't say complaints, but some of the feedback I'm getting from people is they're like, Alan, it's really hard to kind of string all the information together, because as you guys know, I just kind of go week to week to week, and just whatever I'm doing here, that's what I make a video about, I don't really do too many like series kind of things and probably I'm pretty bad about making playlists. So with that, I figured a good way to repurpose some of the videos is to actually then take the information in those videos and condense it into written form and then use the videos again as a reference. You'll see what I mean when you get the PDF. I promise you, I'm not overselling this. It's free for you and I mean, you're just gonna have to get on my email newsletter which I promise you will continue to over deliver tons of good content to you. That's my promise to you all for free. So. I mean, good stuff. How's that for being a pitch man? I know some of you guys are get annoyed at my pitch man voice, but I figure maybe it's okay to pitch when I'm pitching for myself. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, 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 one, two. So we're actually gonna do a live stream. That's right, I'm gonna do a live stream centered around the book because the book all talks about pre-emergence, right? So the live stream that I do is gonna be to answer the most frequently asked questions that I get from the book. And I'm already getting some because we've already given out, I think, uh, like 2,000 copies of it already. So however many of you guys sign up for it, I'm hoping another couple thousand, maybe five, 10,000 of you, I don't know, I mean, whatever you want to, but, but you know, from that, we're gonna get the most frequently asked questions and the live stream will address those. That way we're really educating. We're going from videos, we're going on written form, and then we're gonna go on a live stream that answers the most frequently asked questions. So if you wanna get on the live stream or if you have a question and you wanna put your question on the live stream, and this will be the setup, by the way, um, you know, me and dad's workbench gonna come in handy. Um, I do need to put, I do need to put a little teak oil on it first though. But uh, anyway, and I got this new, set up here i'm you know i'm testing it right now actually with you guys but um so that'll be friday february 2nd at 7 p.m eastern so i'm going to put the link in the description below i'll schedule the live event and that's will run um that day now if you have questions and you want to be on the live stream then what i'd ask you to do is hit me on twitter with the hashtag ask lcn i'll put it there on the screen so if you get the book you have questions about it uh tweet me there ask lcn just make sure you tell me cool season or warm season with your question and I'll answer those questions via that stream, not live that day, but I'll get them ahead of time and I'll have those ready and those are what we're gonna address in the live stream again, February 2nd, 7 p.m. Eastern. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> 
All right, I also want to test if during the live stream I'll be able to take the camera mobile. Um, yeah, I think so. So this is kind of cool. Um, these are the products I'll just show you guys and we get these from do my own and I'll explain the relationship I have with do my own they used to be do my own pest control it's do my own pest control .com. but anyway we got dimension granular here so uh, this is all in the book and what's in what's nice about it is I show you if you get this very product from the link that I give you then I use the label and in the book I tell you exactly the pounds on the ground from this exact product now you still need to read the labels on your own but what I'm saying is I take the label off of that so I'm hoping to take some of the guesswork out of things by going product for product with you as we go through the year and it's what's in the book so either way dimension also known as the thiopir excellent pre-emergent for crabgrass and poa um, and then we've got some pennington pro care here this has actually got some potash in it but also a granular and this is uh, prodiamine so another excellent crabgrass control actually what i would consider the best crabgrass control um, and then this is not the best vlogging camera, but anyway, the reason that I got these products here is because they're granular. Uh, one of the challenges that a lot of homeowners have is, you know, spraying a liquid in a blanket application, especially with a pre-emergent and getting it done right in a blanket application from a hand can, that's not an easy thing to do. So I found these granular products. That's why I love Do My Own because they have this kind of stuff available to homeowners. So this makes it a lot easier. And, and between you and me, I'd much rather do a granular too. There is some drawback to it, especially in areas of heavy rain we'll talk about, but. But either way, much easier for a homeowner, really easy. Okay, so some of you might be wondering, what's my relationship with Do My Own? Look, I'm always transparent with you. So in the book are what are called affiliate links. What an affiliate link is, is it basically when you click the link, it drops a cookie in your browser, and when you buy anything from the website that corresponds with that cookie, I make a commission. So that's what that is, that's an affiliate link, and those are all in that book. If you don't want me to get paid my commission for referring you over to that product, then that's fine. Clear your cookies and buy anyway, or go find it somewhere else or whatever. But the other thing about Do My Own is, I really like them, I've been talking to them, I actually approached them, if you guys know, Paul Castleberry, he did um, um, a, a whole like lawn rehab on their channel. Uh, I'll link in the description below to that. I mean, he's a good guy. I like them in general, they're just nice people. Um, and they've been really good to me. And I had ordered to, from them before, before I ever knew them and had really good experience and they do free shipping. So, you know, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pimp them out because they, they've been good to me. And, and again, they have things that are available to you guys that aren't available anywhere else. So that's that whole thing with the whole affiliate commissions. And that's why I'm giving you the book for free. It's not like I'm not getting something out of it. Just want you guys to be clear about that. The other reason I like that is, is because again, I'm recommending here Dimension or Dithiapir. So go ahead, get Dimension or Dithiapir anywhere you want. The book still is, you know, works for you. It's just not gonna be the exact rates that I'm giving you. But other than that, if you don't want that, you can get these anywhere. And you can get prodiamine, you can get liquid on your own too. The book will still be very helpful for you because I give you the timing of the apps based on where you live. Now, one other thing, another update. So actually about a week and a half ago, I actually had the privilege of going to a conference and it was put on by a company called Real Green Systems. They do like marketing and software for green industry professionals, you know, pest control, lawn care, uh, landscapers. They, they do everything from accounting to marketing. They'll do their SEM, their SEO, they'll build their websites. They're just a really, really cool company and they have a giant conference. I didn't even know it was this big and it just happened to be at the Tradewinds right here on St. Pete Beach and they sent me an invite and said, hey, would you come out? And I'm like, yes, I would because I really, need to take my own education to another level. And what's cool is while I was at the conference, I met these guys. Um, this guy here, John Perry. John Perry owns a company called Green County Fertilizer and they're out of Georgia. They're not a sponsor or anything. I'm telling you a story here that's really cool. Um, and some of the stuff that they're doing with soils is incredible. It reminded me a lot of my friend Matt Martin. You guys know Matt Martin. I've talked about him before. He actually edited my ebook that I'm giving out to you. He edit. He's going to start editing my ebooks for me. When I say editing, I'm making sure that you know that I am talking right, that my math is correct. It's always good to have an expert double check your work when you're a writer, and that's what Matt Martin's going to do for me. And in return, I'm going to pimp his channel to you guys because it's very educational. In fact, I'm going to link to a video in the description below where he talks about the the best kept secret in the fertilizer industry and what he's talking about is these guys here and their products next RGS and some of the things they're doing with soils super cool kind of stuff it reminds me a lot of like functional medicine versus traditional medicine um, in that kind of vertical this is very similar this is more functional lawn care or caring for the soil um, which you guys have heard me talk about the soil food web and things like that but this is next level stuff speaking of next level stuff I actually need it and I need to try some of it because I've had a tragedy happen here at lawn care nut HQ you can really see the Bermuda now, can't you? Because it's dormant and the St. Augustine's not. Arg. Anyway, look at this tragedy. Yeah.
Yes, I'm talking about this staining, but more of a tragedy than that. I don't know if you can tell, but my Areca palms got major, major freeze frost damage. Look at all that. That's from the last two nights. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell uh, from the backlight or whatever, but the tops of them are all completely browned out. That is 100% from deep freezes. I don't even know how cold it got here, but we had two nights where it got super cold. You can see it also zapped my bird of paradise. I think these will come back. I'm going to cut them to the ground. I think they'll be okay. These guys are going to be okay too, but they're going to take a lot of loving. As you may or may not be able to imagine, I'm actually really heartbroken over this. I really love my palm trees because they're very similar to a grass, and so I love them almost just as much as my grass. So this this really bothers me. Plus, it's you know we have to look right out at them, and it's we always enjoyed looking at how beautiful they were. I had these put in when we first moved in, and now we have to look at them dead looking. So this is it's just looking at a massacre every morning. Look at that. Now they were a little bit nutrient deficient already and I had put some fertilizer down about two weeks ago and that's where our second tragedy comes in because um, I, also, I also put it into our pots at the same time and the pots were located down through here and some of the furt came out and stained my patio. This is tragedy number two that I have to continually look at. And the thing is, I thought I caught it early. I mean, I blew everything off. I didn't leave stuff, but I, I thought I blew it all off, but I obviously didn't. Or I think what happened is with the wind blew or something and some of it fell out of these after or later because I did clean it up. But anyway, it's stained and that's that's really bothering me too because another project that I have to do here is resand all this. So I'm going to resand this whole thing. So I'm going to resand all this and then I'm actually, I got a two in one sealer. I actually called this company called Technosoil and I kind of pimped out myself a little bit and they're like yeah we'll send you some stuff so they're gonna send some stuff um, so we're gonna do a whole like thing on this patio right which I thought that'd be some really good content except now that I stained it so I gotta clean these stains off or otherwise I'm gonna seal them in and that's not gonna be good so I'm gonna be doing a video on that I got like a whole bunch of different chemicals I'm gonna try um, you know maybe who knows maybe I'll break something blow something up who knows Needless to say, I learned my lesson on this one, and that's why I'm going to come back to the soils guy, John Perry, and also back to Matt Martin from The Grass Factor, because I need to try to rescue these palms after I clean up this, uh, this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of their kind of philosophy a little bit, and I'm going to put some kind of juju stuff into my palms here and see if I can kind of juice them up. Uh, I'm not going to use their products, but I'm going to use some of their philosophy and just see what we do and have a little fun. And then I'm going to take that education and I'm going to move that into some lawn care stuff here coming up in the next probably few months or so. So just wait at that. Look at that. It, it involves neat things like sea kelp. So there you go. That's everything I got for you guys. Again, please join me for the live stream February 2nd, Friday, February 2nd, 7 p.m. Eastern. And with that, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut, and I'll see you in the lawn.